Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on multiples. If students know their multiplication tables well, this topic is very straightforward. To find the multiples of any given number, multiply it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Let's see some typical questions on this topic. Question 1. Write down the first five multiples of 3. Solution. The first five multiples of 3 are... They are just the 3 times tables. And you start from 3 times 1, and you go up to 3 times 5. So the first five multiples of 3 are these numbers here. Question 2. List all the multiples of 7 that are less than 50. So again, you do the 7 times tables and you keep going so that the last number is just less than 50. So here they are. They're all the multiples of 7. They are less than 50 because that's 49. And if you do 7 eighths, that gives you 56. So that's too large. That's why we stop there. Question 3. List all the multiples of 6 that are between 20 and 70. So here we have the 6 times tables. So the first answer has to be greater than 20. And there it is there. 6 fours are 24. The last number has to be less than 70. 6 elevens are 66. So you start from 6 times 4 and you keep going up to 6 times 11. And here we have all the answers here that satisfy this condition here between 20 and 70. Question 4. Find the product of the third multiple of 2 and the fourth multiple of 3. The solution. Now... Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six. So they're the multiple multiples of two, and that's the third one. Now we're looking for the fourth multiple of three. So three ones are three, three twos are six, three threes are nine, and three fours are twelve. So that is the fourth multiple of three. Now product, the students would have to know that the word product means multiplication. So 6 times 12 gives us 72. So there's the answer. Question 5. What is the positive difference between the 8th and 6th multiples of 9? So here we have the 9 times tables. Now there's the 8th multiple there. Of course 9 eighths are 72. The 6th multiple, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 sixes are 54. So we're after difference, that means take away. So 72 take away 54 gives you 18. Question 6. Add the first three multiples of 4 to the first four multiples of 3. Now the first three multiples of 4 are those numbers. The first four multiples of 3 are those numbers. Those numbers there add up to 24. Those numbers there add up to 30. 24 plus 30 is 54. So that's the answer. Now here we have some true or false questions. Answer true or false. 36 is a multiple of 4. Now we have to work out in our head 4 times what gives you 36? 4 times 9 equals 36, so the answer is true. The fifth multiple of 4 is equal to the fourth multiple of 5. Is that true or false? So, the fifth multiple of 4. 4 times 5 gives you 20, so let's remember that number, 20. The fourth multiple of 5 is 5 times 4 equals 20. 
So, they're both equal to 20, so the answer is true. The next one, 23 is a multiple of 7. Let's do our 7 times tables. 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14, 7 threes are 21, 7 fours are 28, so we don't get 23. So 23 is not a multiple of 7, so that's false. Because here it says 23 is a multiple of 7, that's false. And the last one, all multiples of 8 can be divided evenly by 8. That has to be true, because that's exactly what, what the meaning of multiples. That is the meaning of multiples. All multiples of 8 can be divided evenly by 8. That's why the answer is true. So this video has introduced the idea of multiples and we've seen some basic questions to help our understanding. We've also seen that if students know their tables well, this is a very straightforward topic.